All right, despite some spring cloud cover out there this afternoon, temperatures still remained on the warm side across the state in Flagstaff. Today, 66, 60 now the average for this time of year. 78, the record high set back in 1989. No precipitation really falling down in Flagstaff yesterday. It was just a trace of precipitation numbers starting to look like spring across the state as far as high temperatures go. Sedona 77, Payson 74 today. Winslow is 78, 69 at the Grand Canyon. Those spring type showery buildups out there really kind of making it feel a little bit like we're uh, getting out of winter and into a little bit of a warmer season here. Very weak, um, poorly defined kind of weather pattern that we're in right now. There's a trough of low pressure kind of sliding through the Rocky Mountains and things are pretty quiet throughout the west. There is an area of cutoff low pressure that's helping trigger some showers up and down the Sierra and also helping interact with what little moisture we have across northern and northeastern Arizona for some very light shower activity. Yesterday I even heard a little uh, thunderclaps across Flagstaff. I think this moisture is going to start to clear out here through Wednesday, but this area of low pressure pressure that I'm talking about that's off the Southern California coast. It's going to eventually make its way in here as we get into later in the week. So we readjust our eyes here. Now we're looking at the water vapor imagery. I forgot to change the title here. This is a water vapor shot. So it shows us where the water vapor is in the atmosphere. Here we are in Arizona and obviously the darker, the lighter areas are the water vapor, but it also helps us see where this area of low pressure is because it wasn't showing up on the infrared satellite imagery, but you can just barely notice the rotation here off of Southern California. This thing's going to remain really weak and in the same general vicinity through about Wednesday, but then on Thursday and Friday, it does move through Arizona and it looks like it's going to get into a little bit of subtropical moisture. And I think we see widespread rain showers both on Thursday and Friday with a possible secondary storm system moving into the same spot and continuing our rain shower activity into Saturday. Rain showers will be on the light side. Snow levels will remain quite high, but it sure would be nice here if we get into the later portion of the week, we get a little bit of moisture around here as we move into our dry seasons. We'll take it whatever we can get. Okay, currently outside right now, temperature is 60 degrees and uh, those clouds from earlier today starting to break up and I think we'll be in for some clear skies here as we make our way through the night tonight with an overnight low forecast at 29 degrees. We become mostly clear and I think tomorrow we'll call it partly sunny. I think we have more sunshine than what we saw out there this afternoon with temperatures very similar. Maybe nudge them down a degree or two across the board for tomorrow, it's high temperature. A very another very mild spring day. Sunrise now well into the five o'clock hour, 547. Here's a look at the statewide forecast tonight and tomorrow. Sedona, 49 overnight tonight, 76 tomorrow. Prescott, 4073, 3671 Payson and Winslow down in the 3077 for a high for your Tuesday. Mild weather will continue into Wednesday, but we'll slowly nudge temperatures down as that area low pressure gets closer and closer. It will be a bit cooler here as we look to get some rainfall Thursday, Friday and on Saturday with high temperatures dropping down into the 50s. It'll be daytime rain and uh, driven by the daytime heat. So overnight we're not looking for any cold temperatures and any snow. It'll just be daytime showers and so for Sedona, mid 70s next couple days cooling down into the upper 60s with hopefully some uh, rain panning out for us later in the week.